Sonic. Hello, Amy. H hi Sage, did you just hack into our group call? What? What's going on? Dr. Eggman keeps a close watch on all of your voice calls. Oh. I hear you have some kind of a Christmas truce. Yes, Christmas time, we try to all get along. <laughs> I do not understand why, but perhaps I can acquire more information about why this time of year, there is not as much fighting. Hello? Who on earth is that? That hedgehog looks way cooler than you, Sonic. Hey! <laughs> you can thank it, but don't say it out loud. Oh, forgive me. I am practicing my social awareness. What? Who's this clown? His name is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Actually, gosh. Actually, I like this one. <laughs> this is Sage. I'll let this one slide. I'll let this one slide. Um, <clears throat> hello. What's happening? What? My name is Sage. I'm Charmy V. Espio the Hi. Chameleon. I see. I do have you in my database. Uh, nice to meet you too. Hi. I believe we've been hacked, and that's why we are here. Yes, I have hacked you for an interview. Welcome to Ask the Sonic Heroes Chaos Chord, Episode 2. You're hosting an episode? I have not done such a thing before. However, I did watch the previous episode. Yeah, that's probably enough experience. Yes, I watched one YouTube video, and now I am an expert. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah. XP. And now you know everything. <laughs> the XP gained. I am going to use an internal random number generator to choose which questions you all will answer. Let's begin with Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you ready? I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. All right, hit me with it, Sage. How do I end this phone call? The first question for Sonic the Hedgehog is from Seth Caster 6839 to Sonic. Have you ever thought about training your dark form to control it easier so you don't go crazy? It doesn't necessarily require the Chaos Emeralds to use. Plus, it gives a big power boost. I understand if you wouldn't want to. But wouldn't it be useful? Ugh, frankly, no. I, you guys have never experienced this, but it's a really bad feeling. And it kind of does need Chaos Emeralds around. I mean, back when I first did the thing, it was with the fake Chaos Emeralds, not exactly the real ones, but dude, I, it's not a feeling I ever want to feel ever again. So, not really, no. And besides, like we pointed out before, that uses the negative energy of the Chaos Emeralds, and that's never going to beat out the positive energy of the Emeralds, so... No, I've never even really considered that as a possibility. I would rather not see it anyways. I wouldn't really consider uh, <laughs> it all that useful, too. Sounds like an answer a nerd would say. You're a nerd. How do I hang up? Amy Rose, your first question is from Argent Hunter to Amy. If you and Sonic do someday get together, how do you expect the relationship to work out? Romantically and normally, because Sonic is, well, Sonic. No offense, Sonic. <laughs> What's that? I didn't quite catch uh, the question. Well, uh, I guess I'm not going to pay attention. <laughs> cool, great. Uh, always the same. <laughs> I want to hear about this. I had to stand there and watch you two do a will they or won't they for hours worth of gameplay. I want the scoop. <laughs> she wants content. I want context. <laughs> I would say... We would both be more relaxed around each other, and it would <laughs> we'd have a better understanding of each other. Because, of course, Sonic's going to be Sonic. He's going to be running around, saving the world. <laughs> but I, I imagine we'll be older and uh, know how to handle each other a little better. I don't really know how else to say it. <laughs> According to my databases and my research, it seems that you should play a game of... Masho, to figure out what your future with Sonic will be like. <laughs> I will use my random number uh... generator to determine if you two will live in a mansion, an apartment, a shack, a house, or an outhouse. Is the awkward part over yet? Ah, uh, I think it's beginning. How do I hang up? From Skibot9974 to Shadow, how come you stopped using guns after your own game? Did Maria ask you to stop, or did you choose to stop? I'm not answering for you. There is no escaping from this, Shadow. I know where you live. Please answer your question. Ah, uh, you better answer the question or she's gonna show up at your house. I didn't stop using guns. Or maybe I did. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you did try to use a gun in, in the LEGO universe, Shadow, but uh, I think Knuckles threw it away. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he LEGO did. LEGO guns. Yeah, they don't work the same. Anyway. The, the guns in my game were just more of a uh, 
Weapon of opportunity. I don't know the word, but it's like on-site pickup. What? You just, it was there, so you used it. Oh, look at this guy, using the official terms. What, are you after my job? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want that. I was using them as weapons of opportunity. And then I realized, uh, you know, my fists are probably, probably just as, if not more powerful than these things are, so... I kind of leave them as they lie. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Charmy, your question is from Guard Soldier. To Charmy, do you realize that the loyal fans you have are like your own army? I am willing to die for your honor. Wait, what? No. I... Maybe let's not die. Uh, I didn't realize I had an army? Hey, Espio. Yeah? I think we should consider taking over the Eggman Empire. You know, to overthrow it. I don't know. I don't know how... <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I only end father. fights. You guys always start them. You guys always start them. I end them. You end them? I see. Charmy, you end me after the episode. Schoolyard, let's go. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not going to permit this, this. No, we're not doing this. I'm slightly frightened by them, though. This is hilarious. Am I allowed to fight a girl? Um. Espio, is this allowed? Self-defense, I suppose. <laughs> I'd rather you not start anything, but if you're defending yourself, sure, why not? Remember everything I taught you, Charmy. I have been studying the art of the snowball. Snowball fight? Snowball fight. Okay, you're on. Yes. <laughs> it's on. Right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! I don't think she understands the lethality of a snowball fight. Make sure make sure she's not putting ice inside of the snowball. That was a battle. Vector's off on a battle right now, getting those Christmas deals as we speak. Christmas deals? Yes, for Christmas presents. Presents! Presents are the best part of Christmas. Well, almost. I want presents. Maybe we'll see if Eggman might want to give you one or two. What do you want for Christmas, Sage? Well, What's a gift you I want? I already acquired a gift important to me, and the viewers on the Sonic Song 182 channel and my big sister Motobug helped me acquire it. This is my pet rock. His name is Colton. Ah, <laughs> that's that. A rock, a rock. you say? Mm. Huh, I can see why it's kind of cute. It took many hours of destroying each other in Among Us to acquire. Oh! Very sweet. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe something that is not a rock? I am not sure what would be better than a rock. It's a lump of coal with a ribbon on it, and it moves. I don't know, guys. It's, it's, it's a rock. <laughs> Have you asked the rock any questions? It does not speak, Shadow. It is a rock. Oh, well, excuse me. You just said it moved. <laughs> The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles, and it's in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> How do I hang up? <laughs> you don't. From KJ Productions, Espio, when do you think you'll be ready to enter the dating game? Um, <clears throat> well, I don't think I'll be ready anytime soon. I'm much too busy with work and other obligations and... I don't think there's really any contenders. It's not really something that's on my mind at the current moment. I'd say give it another 10 years and I'll start thinking about it maybe at that point. Uh, right now, I'm not too concerned with that. The Dating Game is an American television game show that first aired <laughs> on December 20th, 1965. Typically, a bachelorette would ask a question to three bachelors who were hidden from her view, and at the end of the questioning period, she would choose one to accompany her on a date with expenses paid by the oh. show. All of a sudden, I'm not certain what we're, if we're talking about literally games or that. Uh, I guess games are kind of fun, but SBL, remember one thing. Cooties. Cooties are bad. Oh, that's right, that's right. I can't go around getting cooties. That'd be... Cooties! Yeah, they, Don't they do spread, it. don't you know? We already have Vector trying to get cooties, so... Ugh. Yeah, don't <laughs> touch Vector. It's, if he has cooties, you're gonna get it from him. What are cooties? Are they like fleas? Yes. Just about. As yeah. You seem like a mature adult. Tell me the story of the cooties. <laughs> um... <clears throat> right, yes, the story please of the tell us. Yes. Um, <clears throat> one I would day, like to know. a long time ago, um, a meteor fell from the sky and it carried with it the virus called cooties. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, he knows his stuff. 
it, it attached itself to a lovely couple, and when the couple kissed, it spread the cooties. And then the cooties spread everywhere, and they're very icky, and the children, you best not get cooties because they will stick with you for life. You, you do not want the cooties, they're very so icky gross. and stinky. That is disgusting. Yeah. Wow. That's, that is enough. I do not want to hear more. <laughs> He's a great storyteller, right? I, I mean, I've been avoiding the cooties for years. Uh-huh. In my pursuit to understand Christmas, I will pick from the Christmas box on a random number. Oh. Is that what this is for? From the Velociraptor 9753. Hey, Shadow, can you sing You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch? Wait a minute. I don't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, encore. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. I think I like this song. <laughs> You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Does that have tender sweetness when he is a seasick crocodile? <laughs> nah. They... Rows of sharp teeth do not make for a great smile. Oh dear. <laughs> no. How do I hang up? <laughs> <laughs> Here is another question for Christmas research from Dreammaker Studios to everyone who considers Gremlins a Christmas movie among you. Yeah, it, uh, it yeah, has yeah. Christmas in it. Yeah, I mean... If it has it's... Christmas in it, it's a Christmas movie. Same logic as Spider-Verse. That's doesn't pretty much the... how it always works. Does, doesn't he get the Gremlin for Christmas? Isn't a Christmas uh -huh. present? I don't remember yeah, if it was a Christmas. I think he was just Christmas taking movie. care of the creature for for that man. It just happened to be around the holidays. Yes, but the fact that it's at Christmas with a Christmas setting, I, I think that's enough for it to be considered a Christmas movie. Yeah. I am not uh, with the story of gremlins. Don't feed your gremlin after midnight. All I remember of that movie is that scene of the grandma getting electrocuted <laughs> and shot out the window of her own house. <laughs> Uh, that's that's the <laughs> that's that's all that's you the remember, scene that stuck eh? With me for all my life. <laughs> wow. You know, I thought I actually thought it was a documentary about Charmy's life. I would say I'm kind of a gremlin. I don't know if I'm that kind of gremlin. Note to self: Do not feed Charmy after midnight. Next question for Christmas research from Teddy Shipper to Amy Rose. If you were under the mistletoe with three other Sonic characters, not including Sonic, because he doesn't like Kiss, we all know that. <laughs> oh no. I am curious who you will pick and have a Merry Christmas. One Dexter, two Dexter, <laughs> Dexter. and three Dexter. <laughs> Cooties. Cooties, yes. Are you going to join the cootie team? Anti-cooties. I will join the cootie team. The anti-cootie team. We need uh, to get you a stick. <laughs> Yeah! Espio, Knuckles, and Shadow. There you go. Look at me, Shadow. It seems we shall be the Cootie Brothers. How do I hang up? To Sonic from Trigger the Tiger. What would have to be the most random thing you've ever fished out with Big the Cat? I can't imagine how you cleaned the lakes and frontiers with all the junk you fished out. Hashtag eco-friendly. The weirdest thing, huh? Uh, probably Vector the Crocodile? I, I fished out Vector the Crocodile, and then immediately after, uh, a normal Earth Crocodile. Was it a seasick one? To Amy from Miss Drop 6735 what would it be like if you were a new character in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the movie? I mean, I guess it would, it would be neat, except they have to write in how the heck I got here and why, because 
I already know Sonic by that point. <laughs> yeah, plus we're aliens too, so you're gonna have to figure out how you get your way down to Earth. Exactly. Like, was there a ring where I came from? Is it a tail situation except less technical? But I would like to be in there. Maybe you already know Tails. Oh, maybe we're from the same world and uh, we got in contact. Well, I'm in the movie. And I don't need a convoluted reason to be there. Yeah. I'll drive the plot forward. <laughs> You're the guaranteed character. You and Dr. Stone. That's my favorite manga series. I have spoken to Agent Stone. He came to visit earlier this month, and he made us coffee. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm so jealous. I've never had his coffee. Is it good? It is amazing. Can you drink coffee? I can, yes. Are you not just a program? Not out here. When I was in cyberspace, I was just a program. But now I am a bit more corporeal than I was. Oh. That's a big word. For you, Shadow. Corporeal. Relating to a person's body, especially as opposed to their spirit. Well, I know what it means. <laughs> just a big word. Actually, as you would have it, the number I pulled was number 30. Which is strangely connected to Amy's question. Great. <laughs> to Shadow from Lucas Hopkins 2006, have you seen the recent image of you for the third Sonic movie? December 20, 2024, cannot come soon enough. Oh, it sure can't. I look good from the bottom up, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I gotta hide my, uh, my handsome face. You're not ready for it. It'll melt your minds. So, you know. Gotta keep it behind the scenes. But we saw your face at the end of I, Sonic 2. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Slightly upgraded model. From Trammel Family to Charmy, did you know that you were actually a prince slash king in two other dimensions? Would you want to be one in this dimension? And if so, what would be the first thing you would do? Um, no. I don't really want to be a king. I'm, I would like to have, like, more money for us, but I have fun being a detective. But if I had to be a king or a prince, whichever, I guess I'd want to have another holiday. I don't know what I'd want it to be, but, you know, another one where we can get candy. A honey festival, perhaps. Honey's already fairly sweet. It's related to bees, and you can make sweets out of honey. Yeah, honey festival sounds good. So says the word of the king. Hurrah! My liege, as you wish it shall be. <laughs> I could kind of get used to that. <laughs> From Plush World 1D to Esmeo, what was your reaction when you were told to use a blow dart to knock out Sonic in the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? P.S. You're my favorite character in the whole wide world. Oh, why thank you, Plush World. Well, when I was told to use a blow dart, in all honesty, I didn't think too much of it. I thought it was fairly natural. Perhaps due to my ninja upbringing in a ninja village, I didn't consider cultural differences in what may be normal for that exact moment. I, I was very focused on trying to get to Sonic and knock him out. So I guess I had a bit of tunnel vision. I wasn't really thinking clearly as a result of that. This freaking chair Ooh, looks like there's a something. Spring. Is that a knife? What is that? What the heck? Oh my god! What is this? Was someone playing darts? That's a dart? They poisoned him! It's a blue dart! Things are getting a little too real. Oh no! He's dead for real! I can't believe he's actually freaking dead! It was SPO! You were the one that murdered Sonic! Weren't you? <laughs> What's the that look? Oh my god! I take it back, I take it back! It was supposed to be a game. Yes, I mean, I had no reason to suspect it would lead to anything else otherwise. And I thought, considering the objective of the game, it should have been as realistic as possible. Man, that poison gave me one heck of a headache once I woke up. Still some strong stuff. I'm really glad that it wasn't, like, actually a lethal poison, because that would have been really horrible. Worst birthday gift ever. That is, however, on Dr. Eggman's birthday wish list. The death of Sonic the Hedgehog. Aw, oh, come on, you like me. You wouldn't want that for yourself. I think that would be unfortunate. Sinister Sama asks, I've been a fan oh. all this time to everyone. Pineapple on pizza, yay. That is a straight no. I do not like pineapple on pizza. You don't know culinary secrets when you see them. Pineapple on pizza, yay. Uh, you know, it's it's all right. It's not my first choice. I'll say, I, 
Is there a middle ground? Maybe liking <laughs> pineapple and liking pizza, but not liking both? I like it on the pizza, but it's not something I'm going to actually get. Take a stance, Amy. I guess, yay? No, that's right. Uh, no! No, no way. Nah! You like candy. How do you not like pineapple on your pizza? Pineapple's good for you. No! Pineapple and pizza is a combination that should not work. But the sweetness of the pineapple with the acidity of the tomato, it works fairly well. It's not something I'm particular to, but if you handed it to me, I could enjoy it. Exactly! That! So I guess I would say yay. Let's move on now to some Christmas research. From Sherwin, Sonic Fan 57 to Team Chaotix, do you guys take Christmas off or do you have to worry about someone trying to steal Christmas trees Grinch style? That does happen pretty frequently. Are you going to cram that Christmas tree up the chimney? What does it look like I'm doing? Now help me. It kind of varies year by year. Yeah, there was a year of that. And then I think they realized it was kind of silly. <laughs> it was nice once they stopped because it just allowed us to relax and have a nice Christmas. And a nice turkey, opening gifts. Yeah. The kind of ideal Christmas you would want to have. That sounds nice. But every now and then there's something silly like that. We've gotten better at handling the situation. We finish it faster and faster each time it happens. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Why don't you destroy him? <laughs> well, if it were not for the laws of this land, I would have slain you. I, uh, yeah. Let's not go around killing people. This Christmas research question goes to Amy from Soundwave26. Hello, Amy. I hope you and everyone are having a happy holiday. I was curious if you have any new cooking recipes this Christmas. I do look around for new recipes. I don't know if I've really found one just yet. What about these? Look like fun. They're shortbread. shortbread ooh. Cookies. That looks really fun, actually. Legit, I want to make those. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great idea. Shortbread cookies that look like candy canes. And, you know, you have the choice of making it peppermint if you'd like. I like the idea. I know some people out there don't. So you can make a batch half and half, maybe. This was something I wanted to ask about making, but I am not sure how to approach the question with Dr. Eggman. I don't think it takes much to get the doctor to make sweets. <laughs> really? <laughs> you think Dr. Eggman would be amenable to the idea of making Christmas cookies together? I really doubt he could say no to you. <laughs> you probably could make him do anything you wanted if you asked. Interesting. I will forge an alliance with Maria, and then there will be cookies. Yeah, share the cookies. <laughs> if this mission is a success, I will share the cookies with you for your support. Next and final Christmas research question is from Alexandra Kobarubia745. To everyone, can you sing 12 Days of Christmas? Happy Holidays! Alright, you ready? No. Too bad. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. Five minutes later. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords a-leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight maids a-milking. Seven swans a-swimming. Six geese a-laying. Five, Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. The end. Ooh. That was a long one, but we did me? it. Does that feel like it went on forever? <laughs> I've run out of time for research. Originally, I had more time, except Charmy B declared war. So we have to meet on the playground to destroy each other with snowballs. It is time, Charmy. It is time. All right, armor up, everybody. We're going to be throwing snowballs. First snowball <laughs> fight, then cookies. I suppose I shall be the referee of this match. Fair enough. All right, and now I want a nice, clean fight. All right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Good night, everybody. Charmy be out. Ready to throw snowballs. This is Sage tuning out. My research is complete. <laughs> Well, wow. this on. is Espio the Chameleon making sure that these two do not go in over their heads. 
That's for the chameleon out. Merry Christmas. How do I hang up? Oh, this is Sonic the Hedgehog, everybody. I'm off to enjoy my Christmas with the fam. So, catch y'all later. No, Sonic, how does this work? <laughs> how does it, no, how, this how, is Amy Rose, and I guess, I guess I'll help SBO. <laughs> Merry Christmas, and take care. Amy, don't Bye -bye. Need, I need to, no, I need to figure out how to... Turn on camera. Turn off camera. Suggested act Nitro boost? What does that mean? Get nitro for $5.99. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How do I end chaos cord call? Okay, Google. How do I end chaos cord call? Why is it a picture of me? How come shaking it does nothing? <laughs> How come they don't put buttons on these things anymore? Shadow, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how to hang up a chaos cord call! Well, how am I supposed to know that's how it-